Hi Sonia Lucas, today I'm going to do some of my own creations um, and I'm going to start today with winter sun on a meadow and I'm going to add a few more tips in. For example, if you use loose powder and you put it just underneath the eye like this, it doesn't matter if a lot of it just falls down because that's what it's supposed to do. Yeah, just to keep the fallout of the eyeshadow to a minimum. I know it looks strange, but you'll brush that off later anyway. There you go. So, next tip I'm going to start off with today is you get a complete different... <laughs> it looks funny on my nose, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> next tip is if you have a cream to powder foundation then you have to set it with a translucent powder otherwise the blush and everything else will not stay so then the next tip is also how you can intensify your colors is with lipstick and I'm going to use that as my base today I'm going to use the concealer brush go into the lipstick or you can use your finger if it's your own if it's your own lipstick then you can use your finger which I'm going to do now because it just warms up a bit quicker and apply that over the lid got solid gold lipstick here apply that over the lid and I'm not going to use any highlight with this look at all I am just going to use the eyelid area into the crease. Do it as gently as you can, as this lipstick is very cold from the outside. It's a bit more difficult to apply, but if you're in the warm room for longer, then it should not be any should not be any problem whatsoever. Now I'm going to take the eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use Cactus Green and I'm going to apply that to the outer corner of the eye as you see very bold bringing it up a little bit like that a really bold look going upwards and outwards like so and then blending it into the eye by soft sweeping motion Without applying any more color just upwards and inwards creating the shape and now as you see on the one side I've been a bit more messy than the other that is easy to <coughs> to correct just take some of that loose powder and go over it and just brush it out you can either use your finger or a brush just brush it out and soften the edges there you see next tip so it does happen and especially if you're doing it on someone else and they start wriggling or something then that does happen so now I'm going to use the same brush so you only need actually one brush for this look 
and I'm now going to apply solid gold no actually it's called pot of gold onto the inner corner of the eye and blending it the other way so it gets that shimmer See that? I'm not very happy with the lighting, but I can't change that. I can't make it any better. Let's see. Like that. There you go. Now, all you need is the mascara. I'm going to use a brown black for this. I'm just applying it to the top eyelashes and I need the outer quarter of the bottom lashes. Now you take your powder brush, brush all the loose powder off. Now go into your pencils and get out, no not grapevine, that would have looked a bit funny, the, where is it, here, the jazz eye pencil and then using the concealer brush again. Take some of that off and apply that just to the bottom lash line. All the way. And now to bring the colours together, you take your golden shimmers pencil you use the same concealer brush and go over the outer quarter and prolong the line a little bit you have it. Winter Sun on Meadows. See you later. Bye.